Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is Thursday. Wait, it's not Thursday. It's only Wednesday. Man, I was so excited when I woke up and I thought it was Thursday. We have so many fun plans this week, but not till later in the week. It literally still smells like pig poop out here. It's disgusting, but our house at least is better. Our tack room got trashed. So I need to try and clean that up today. And I still have hay that I need to deposit someplace. Straw, I mean. I'm not sure if I want to put it with the goats or if I want to put it with the chickens. Almost forgot Penny's morning apple. They're starting to go bad now. Good morning, everybody. Oh, Gracie needs a brush. Who are you talking to? Ellie? I brought you an apple. She's like, I don't really care. I need to lick up all this magnesium first. No problem, Penny. I'll just wait. No problem. I'll just wait. I got all the time in the world. She's like, I'm ready. Sorry. That's it. One apple. One apple a day. Keeps the vet away. She's like, it is such a good day to start the day off with an apple. Let's go. Let's go, little missus. Girls are already headed out. But look at how clean our barn stays with the dirt. It is so much easier. Instead of having like a ton of shavings in our poop pile, all we have is poop. Just poop. And it saves so much space. I mean, we still have a lot of poop, but it saves so much space. Oh gosh, even Penny's dirty. Ellie, get back. Ellie, get back. Every fall, she has like the worst heat ever. I'm gonna have to give her butt a wash, a big wash. Let me clean that eye. She has these prickles in her hair too. You're disgusting, Penny. Today, you're gonna be my priority. We're gonna go for a walk, okay? This whole last year, well, this whole last summer, I wanted to teach Penny to just go for a walk with me, like without a lead rope, without anything just a nice walk she always stops to eat the grass so i need to like get her out of that oh <laughs> there's gracie oh my gosh they all need brushes today <laughs> they all need a brush all the girls it's peaceful our horses always get eye goober in the winter never in the summer what what causes that she wants to come with me now we're gonna go for a walk in a little bit okay i have to do homeschool first Homeschool and then we'll go for a walk. Okay. I'll give you a good brush and we'll go for a walk. She's like, yes, Laura. Sam had the best idea. He said, why didn't you, you Ellie, get over here. I know exactly where you're trying to go. To the road. Come on, get over here. Um, why don't we use this for our breeding pen? So we could have put all of our girls... We could have put the buck in there even. Put the girls in here because there's no way he can get out of here. Like there's none. It's so secure. We should have did that. He always <laughs> Look at my lap. Look at, whoops, Ellie just fell. But look at my lap. <laughs> look at my lap. We always get distracted and end up spending time with one or two of the goats. We just had Rocky in here for the longest time because Rocky literally won't go outside. He wants Molly, to be- like, help me. <laughs> help me. Help. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's hard to hold her. <laughs> Molly! Ow! It's hard to hold them when it's hard to hold them when she's scared. But the dogs are so funny. They're all here. They're like terrified when the goat is facing them. But then in the minute the goat turns around and is walking away, they're all like creeping up behind her and they're all like, we're so brave. We'll kick your butt. And then the minute the goat turns around, the dogs are like, help! The goats definitely don't hurt the dogs though. Yeah, Tilly says otherwise. Well, Tilly would like to. She likes to head, try and headbutt them, but the dogs are smarter than that. See, Blossom loves me. Yeah. So, anyway, we always sit on this little bench here. here I should actually bring, ball. bring, are they all gone? No, she doesn't need any more though. Yeah, we found some treats that we love for the goats. Yeah, the dog treats. No, the, I looked it up. So when we were at the sti at Horde Station yesterday, we met this peop these people and they owned that little buck that was in the stall. And so they came up to him and they gave him a dog treat. And so he's like, oh, we should get dog treats for our goats. But I looked it up just to make sure because I was wondering how that can be because goats are herbivores and dogs are carnivores. So how could that be? So I looked it up and they said, absolutely never, ever, ever give your goat 
a dog treat or dog food. Unless it's like something that doesn't have meat in it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Sam can't get in. Sam never comes down here. He can't get in because the little buck is out there. This is literally our little oasis where we can sit and spend time with our animals without anybody getting mad that we're not doing something else. Tricked them. We tricked them? <laughs> the other door. So how, what brings you to our house? Yeah, I gotta order more wood to close that in over there. Oh, so you came down to measure stuff? Yes, I know how much wood to order. Oh, okay. Now that we know that our buck is going home very soon, like in the next month, at, by the end of November, uh, we can open up, like I said yesterday, we can open up all this area to all of our does. little chicken and, and Molly <laughs> play every day. Uh oh. She's <laughs> she lost them. <laughs> All she does is run. <laughs> Nobody on the farm loves Mall Ellie. Nobody on the farm loves Ellie. Isn't that crazy? We are slowly catching on to farm life. So last season, Sophie sold about, we hatched about 75 chickens and we hardly kept any. We have like 12 chickens right now. So Sophie sells a lot of chickens and she, and she hatches them herself. And right now, baby chicks are going for $25 a chick. And it's straight run, which means you don't even know if you're getting a girl or if you're getting a, a boy. So $25 for a baby chick, it's outrageous. Last year she sold all of her hens that were just about to be laying age for $30. So she made a good amount of money. And this year we wanna get smarter. Right, what's our plan? To, ha to start incubating them in December. No. Yeah, December. You get more for ready laying hens. So our idea this year, they hatch on Christmas. oh that would be so fun if they hatched on Christmas, but so our plan is to start hatching in December and have them ready for May. So if we hatch eggs in December and January and February, we'll have, so we will be making so much money next season and that's what she likes to do. That's the kind of job that she likes doing. So we're planning it. The problem with that is, is that she can stop laying right about the time when we want to hatch them. So we might have a little bit of a problem finding eggs, but we're gonna try and figure that out. Once we got the puppies, we took out all of our carpets and we've never got them back. So we haven't really needed a vacuum cleaner. But now that our house is bigger, it's harder to sweep the whole thing. Our dogs are shedding all the time. We decided that we want to get a vacuum cleaner. And boy, the vacuums are so different. I love this. Like that is cool. That's exactly what I need. $399 for that. Actually, it's $500. Lightweight cordless stick vacuum and that is cool even the canister vacuums are so different look how cool that is we literally spent all this time here and we decided we're gonna get our very first ever dyson vacuum cleaner and we decided on this one and it is so nice it's on sale for 649 and it says they got one in stock they don't have any left here said, yeah all right they got one in stock. all right let me ask you guys they have food at Walmart for dogs raw food and they have like small sizes they have this stuff and this I can understand this stuff I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and I'm going to research this I think I could buy that this is so much easy for me easier for me to understand they literally have the, the name of the dog on the bot on the bag all right, so uh, this happened today. What are you building me, Sam? Yeah. What are you building? For the horses. So 
Something for the horses. Who can guess? Put your comments below. Yeah, I, don't, I know you're going to complain about the pressure treated wood, but they didn't have any other wood. Oh. That's bad then? Usually you don't make it pressure treated so the horses don't eat it. But I think they'll be too busy eating hay instead of the wood. So, so you're just giving it away here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that happened. So Sam's gonna be busy doing this because it's almost time. Well, today, but maybe. Yeah, maybe not today. The yeah, half the day is already gone. I love shopping though. But almost as important, we got our very first Dyson. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. So we're gonna go in and do it right now. This spot should like have an indent for your wrist. Sam is finally getting in, into putting in Gabby's new battery. I love the barter off. It's been a while. Wow, I did not know that it was all like that in there. That's yeah, cool. It's stuck in there. <laughs> oh, you can't get it out? So I told Penny I'd take her for a walk. And we are. It is really cold though. Like peeing on the hay. Oh, peeing on the hay. Who was it? Rocky, the boy. Rocky. Rocky we don't pee on hay, you dumbo. Did I show you guys how nice the fields look now? Sam got rid of all the weeds. And it looks so nice now. When we first moved here, it was all like so many weeds and it was all yucky. And then the horses ate down all the grass and Sam cut down all the weeds and it's so pretty now. Hello, handsome man. How are you doing? Are you cold? We took his blanket off. Oh, he's warm. Ha, oh, Gracie. <laughs> Sophie's like, you better move. Come on. Because Stormy Boy is coming. Oh, he's chill. He's like, all right, you guys go. I'll stay with my girls. Ellie. He's snorting. This is Look chaos. She's mad at me. She is mad at you. She said, you take me. It's actually chaos when we bring the dogs. I don't know why we do that. Let's go tie you up here. We're literally like the most popular people on this farm. Don't come in here. <laughs> go back. Go back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back in here. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Can you get something to get the goats? Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay, I want to get my grooming bag. It took a while, but they actually made it. <laughs> they hear us. All the animals hear us and then they follow us. They want to be where we are. And it's so much pressure because I always worry like, why do they need to be with us? Are they scared? Are they, to me, it's a lot of pressure. All right, so we are all clean. I don't know why she has these marks, though. Is it because she digs at it? Usually when I brush them, they go down, but they're not going down. What? Did I cut this part last time? I don't know. I think I did. All right, so we're going to go for a walk. I'm going to put on my trusty uh, rope halter, which I love so much. She's like, oh, I hate that thing. No, you love it, Penny. You like it a lot more than a bit. And we're gonna go for a walk. I chose Penny and she chose Willow. Yeah, honey gets mad. Yeah, honey gets mad. She gets jealous. I know people say that that can't happen, but it does. And also, our goats are back, Sophie. So, the hard thing is gonna be how in the heck are we getting out of the property? You run down there, <laughs> walk the horses in the first field. How about we get a bowl of grain? Throw it and then we run. No. <laughs> and then we're gonna go through that way. Do Sophie did a getaway plan for us. There are all the people we're trying to get away from. Trying to get away from them too. So, what'd you do? Come on, Penny. No, wrong way. We're going the wrong way. No, Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Fast as we can. We gotta get away from the horses and try and trick them. We're escaping from our horses. <laughs> this is insane. Come on, let's go. Make them more fit. 
to make my horse fit. Come on, Penny. You fit, Penny. <laughs> you fit. All right, so do you think that the horses are smart enough, dumb enough, that they'll hear us out here coming there? Or do you think, did, oh, she locked it off. Oh, we're good now. We did it. We are smarter than our horses. I hear the goats though. So where we live, our fall season is really short and our trees that change color change really quickly and they're done now. They're only like really good for like a week or so. But we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, hopefully they don't go crazy and do something dumb. A lot better than trying to race through the gate with a hundred horses here. Good pony. Come on. Look, oh. The dogs want to go this way. Should we go this way? No. Yeah, let's go this way and then back up through the trail. He literally pulls shoes when he runs on grass. He sees us. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> we'll be back. You thinking you bought a hundred feet away. I'll let you stop and eat on the way. She's like, I'll just take a snack along. <laughs> That's what we call it. That's what we call compromise. <laughs> Storm. Storm has a really busy weekend, so he better not pull a shoe. We didn't think this through. Get out there, get your shit together. Then you can say at least I tried. With the first step. Oh my gosh. Stop with the eating. I can hear a storm still in the background. It is just beautiful out here today. Who's going to explain to Gabby if her horse is missing a shoe? Well, in the olden days, I used to get a lot of flack. I used to get a lot of flack from walking my horse with on different sides. So sometimes I use my right side, sometimes I use my left side. I used to get a ton of flack from it. But it has actually helped my horse so much. I can go from one side to the other and lead her and she's completely calm and happy no matter what side I lead her from. We've gotten flack from taking our dogs on walks with our horses when we're riding. Bring that tree out. I want to jump a little over it. Or when we're walking and it's helped our horses become more confident on the trail like by a million. Find a tree for Sophie to jump a little. Yeah, we want to find a tree. Yeah! Look, here comes Ruby. Ruby! Oh, Ruby went around. She's just gonna keep making it bigger. But look at you guys, look at how beautiful. All right, that's the jump, guys. That's the jump. Will she do it or will she not? I like how she did it and left a little trail beside it so people can walk through it. So cute. We can still hear Storm. Three, two, one, go! Yay! And we're home. <laughs> Penny's like, I'm not going. I, I like it where we were. Come on, Pen. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Whoa. girl so last time I was working with her I was trying to teach her like to stay and then come come on Penny come on come on good girl a stay oh stay stay all right she's done <laughs> Wait. 
even if we wanted a place to like do training stuff with our horses that the other horses couldn't interfere, we could come in here. Or in there. Or in there, yeah. <laughs> we, have enough, there. we have enough gates we can just block everybody off. Does he have two shoes? Yes, he does. Yay, good boy. Well, that was uneventful. Everybody survived our, our leaving. Look, she's mad at me. Yeah, she is mad. Thanks for coming, Penny. That was super fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?